Good evening all and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Tonight I'll show you a short delivery to just to show you what this game is all about. As you can see I'm using a modification called TrackSim Map 2.2. It's a free modification which expands the number of cities available in the game compared to the default. And tonight I will be driving my truck. It's the Ivco Stralis Super or whatever it's called. And it's the least popular truck in the game because it's got it doesn't have much power at all. As you can see it's only got 310 horsepower. So people love to hate this truck, but I like it. So without wasting much time, let's drive. Right, welcome to my truck. This is the I've got Stralis, which I've called it Nana. Why did I call it Nana? Don't even ask. But here, but let's get going. So what you do in this game is you either have an option for a quick job where you where you just hop onto any truck and you go deliver from point A to point B. But these jobs don't pay very well at all. You also have the freight market. This means you use your own truck. I'm in Frankfurt, so I'll click Frankfurt, and these are all the jobs that are available from Frankfurt. So let's say I'll Frankfurt to Kiel, that's up in north of North Germany. But the thing is, I well, you just click on this, a job of your choice, set as GPS destination, and drive to the truck yard, which has the trailer waiting for you. I've already set I've already done that. So I'm just outside the truck yard. So I go into the truck yard. Park your truck on top of this green box, press enter. And the job which you set the GPS as should be highlighted. It's not on display here because I've already accepted a job, which is unfortunate because I'm making video this video as a hindsight. So just take the, the job of your choice, take job, and drive to a trailer. As you can see, there is a trailer with a white thingy floating around the top. That's the trailer which I have to hook up my truck onto. So you just reverse your truck carefully and slowly to the trailer. And press T to hook it up, and off I go. Right, this job is from Frankfurt, through the Autobahn, and into Kessel. It's a fairly short job, which is why I decided to record it. you can use your indicator light. Traffic is clear. You get fined for crashing into other traffic. So make sure you don't do that. 
Yes, the game will find you in various ways. As you can see, there's a red light ahead. If you jump that, the game will find you. And another thing which the game will find you over is the use of headlights. If you don't have your headlights on at night or during or when it's raining or in tunnels, then the game will find you. So I'll show you you have your headlights off parking lights, full of headlights, beam lights. So no headlights, parking lights, standard lights, beam light. truck does have a horn, but it's quite pathetic. Ow, that's a crap sound. Speed limit in the city is 50 km an hour. If you speed, you get fined. And it's now cleared to 90. Three hundred and ten brake force power, hard at work. Right, some trailers have a seventy sign on the back of it. This means it means you can't go over seventy with that kind of trailer, but but this one doesn't. So it means I can do 80 kilometers an hour on the autobahn. These trucks are, as per real life, limited to 90 kilometers per hour in game. So there is actually a speed limiter modeled. I'll demonstrate the speed limiter on the next stretch of downhill if I can ever get there. <laughs> I usually cruise at 8 km an hour but Okay, I'll be patient and wait for a downhill. I'll cruise up 80. If you're wondering, I'm using sequential manual mode. So I actually shift the gears on my keyboard and I steer this truck using the mouse. A useful feature in this game is uh, cruise control. Just get up to the speed which you desire, for me that's 80, press a button and it'll hold the speed. But this is a downhill so I'm accelerating but 
once I hit 90, the truck just stops accelerating. Listen to the engine. And you can hear the engine go quiet as it goes, as it hits the limiter and the power is lifted off. I'll just slow the truck down to 80 again because that's my preferred speed. As you can see on my GPS at the bottom right, there's an ETA. It's I've got 100 kilometers to go and an hour and 37 minutes. The distance and the time are compressed compared to real life. In the city, when you're driving really slowly, the clock goes something like one in-game minute is 15 real life seconds. Whoops. I actually need to be on the right hand lane. But if you're on the autobahn, one in-game minute is three real life seconds. Quite a difference. Now I shall use the jack brake to slow down this truck. The jack brake is a special motor or engine brake. And it reduces the wear and tear on your brake pads. If you notice the weird noise a few seconds ago, then that's the jack brake in action. I want to go to the right, to the slow lane on the right, but there's a car in my rearview mirror. Cruise control on, I'm doing 80, I'm good. This is a good time to talk over the GPS. The GPS is on the bottom right, but it's it serves a bit more than a GPS. You can see your speed, gear, truck damage, fuel status, and your cash, for example. And if you look at this, you, I can see my current job fuel tanker to castle expected time there is actually there is actually a deadline to these deliveries as seen in time remaining and the next rest stop in four hours 45 minutes means I have to park the truck somewhere in the various car parts dotted around the map to sleep yes your virtual driver actually needs rest like a real life driver And I need to take the next exit. Combi combination of jack brake and stand brakes. And I'm off.
I have to say this off-ramp is excessively tight for my liking. but if I sh shift now there is actually a clutch time and I'd lose momentum during the clutch time so it's best to stick in this gear and wait it out. Castle discovered. Oh boy there's a traffic light ahead. My excuse for this is that I'm running this game at a lower resolution than usual to, so that I can record this video. Let's just check my map. Okay, I need to take the next right. Whoops, I forgot to release the parking brake. Uh, let this bus get in front of me. models if I remember correct. I'll sh show you that. Actually I can't because I only own this truck. Lovely, this is a really tight place to park. And the thing with trucks is make sure you keep your turns very wide. Now there is an option to s skip the reversing bit because it's the hardest and most fun bit of the game. But you lose out in experience points. Yes, you actually do level up and you can earn bonuses and perks by leveling up. So I want to... And I know how to reverse into a parking slot usually. So, whoops, I thought the, the wheel was centered, but it's, it wasn't. Now it's centered. Let's reverse it. I 
as you can see there is a margin of error but I reversed too far so as you can see park it like this press T and this will show you how you did base reward proficiency bonus ADR delivery bonus that's the perks you should which you can pick with your level ups and bonus for parking the trailer 150 XP and these are the perks which you can get as you level up it's one it's one per single level and as you can see there's Ivco, Man, Mercedes-Benz, Renault, Scania and Volvo to choose from, so six truck manufacturers. And there are other aspects of the game, such as your company manager, because you can purchase and enlarge garages in cities. I have only one garage in Frankfurt. It's got three slots, but I've had one driver called Leon. And you can select, you can choose which perks to level up your employed driver in because your employed driver does level up and he's making pretty good money. Now you can basically stalk everything and you and this is basically the same truck. So I, I'll just show you a few things. These are some upgrade options. I think I know how I can show it to you with a short cut company manager, truck fleet. Uh, yeah, upgrade. So. You can mess around with your cab style, your chassis, number of wheels. You can even get an engine, but... So this truck, you can put in an engine, which has 560 horsepower. And you can even change, upgrade the transmission. You can have a UK dashboard because obviously they drive on the correct side of the road or you can have an ex exclusive interior standard exclusive standard just very minor cosmetic changes paint your truck but if you drive into a service station then you've got loads of custom paint jobs and choose a part to pick truck accessories so this you can pick your bottom bull bars this is yeah these are the bull bars but as you can see you will only unlock them as you level up and Yep, that's how you add the plates and everything. Yep. yep, you can do your rims, front rims, rear rims, and I think that's about all I can show you for the moment. So I hope I hope you found this video useful, and I hope to catch you all next time. Bye-bye.